Go camping, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Um, inch hail, 60 mile an hour winds. The joy of camping. What happened? There's some serious gusts. We heard trees cracking earlier, and we're just hoping that our vehicles don't get their windows destroyed. Uh, the tarpaulin stretched over it really tight, and then it rained and it went. Oh no. This is your bed, though. That's where I sleep? Here's your pillow. Ah! <laughs> Boy, she went like blonde. Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. We're gonna move some sheep because this is going to be our home for the next week. We're gonna be camping out in our woods. And um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. We actually did camp here maybe 2017. I think we camped out here. And we're gonna be doing that again. Um, I got some little peppers moving these sheep. Let's get them moved first and then we'll uh, set this up. Come on, Zeke. There you go, buddy. <laughs> so right now, I think we're running four different tribes of sheep. I got our rams from last year. Then I have the spring ones here. They're on this side of the fence. We got three ewes that we decided to keep and two rams. Then over here we got Zeke with his five ladies or six? Six ladies, right? Yeah, his six ladies, they're over here. And then we've got a Dodge with some other ladies in a different one. So we were letting them keep everything knocked down in this pasture for preparation. Well, it's our woods pasture. It's not really a pasture, but keep everything nibbled, nibbled back so that we could get everything set up for camping out here. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. You guys think you can do that? Oh yeah, check out what Pinky's got. Look at this. You see that? It's musking right now, I can smell it. So this is a rough green snake, one of the cool ones we find around here sometimes. Definitely like these guys. There's no threat these possess or pose to us. And uh, yeah, beautiful snakes. And uh, Bugger, you wanna let this one go for me? Hold on, hang on to that. You can just let it go in that cedar tree behind you. So we'll let it go. And I think this might be the one we've been seeing quite a bit lately. Uh, looks about the right size. Either that or we got a couple of them. I know when I put in this fence over there before, I think I found three that day. And beautiful cream colored belly and beautiful green back. Cool snake. All right, let's get set up. And Bug? Your job is on firewood collection. Can you do it? Yeah. So all these sticks on the ground will make on that one big pile for firewood. That's one thing too that's gonna help out. Um, we got a lot of downed wood. All this stuff just keeps falling, you know. So we're gonna burn up a bunch of that to get it used here for campfires and the children kind of raked up this whole area for us. Super cool, we got some rocks here. Little Rock bench from the other year. So let's get this thing set up. You guys got all that prepared already? Mm -hmm. Oh, and you're busting them? I'm trying to. Okay. Hey, cool. why are those? Are they in there? Oh, no, they're not. Hmm. So, do you guys remember how to set this up? I think so. Kind of. Well, I say we get going and figure it out. 
sooner we get that set up, the sooner we can live in it. How's it going in there? You guys getting her clean? Yeah, we'll keep it up. I got some more stuff to put for support around here, but we're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good. Yep. What are you washing dishes? I'm washing a chicken pie. A uh, chicken? That's gonna be our dinner for our first night in the tent? That's right. We're um, gonna have some yummy chicken soup. Excellent. We're pretty well set up. I'm gonna put one more tarp on it. Got like a 30% chance of thunderstorms tonight. Okay. And uh, down in the 40s at least tonight and tomorrow. So you wanna cuddle or you want a heater? I just want to cuddle. We're going to keep it simple. All right, all right. Yeah. We can make cuddles on our own. Pile the blankets on and we'll just keep it simple and easy. Beautiful. Is that one of ours or somebody else's? This is one of ours, darling. Awesome. We still had some, huh? Yep. Way to be. Thanks, Pinky. Is that bedding for camping? Mm hmm. All right. Just giving it a good rinse, getting any extra feathers off. And I'm going to put her in. What's your job right now? To get firewood. And what'd you say? I'm going to do like two more loads of wood before, uh, uh, before the rain comes. Rain? What would make you think there's rain coming? It's the really dark clouds and there's some that way and there's a whole bunch this way. So just by looking around, you think rain's a coming, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, we'll find out. Get the wood ready then. Yes, sir. Whoa. Do it again. Whoa. One benefit of camping on our own land, out in our own woods, is it gives us a chance to look at all this deadfall old branches, trees that tipped over, and then while they're still dry enough and useful enough to get them cleaned up, we'll be using this for firewood so that I don't um, tap into my winter supply of stuff at home. Bunch of it out here, I'm just gonna cut it into sections that make sense, and then let the children come out and uh, kinda clean it up, stack it up.
Think that'll be enough to last us tonight? Yes, sir. What about this week? Mm -hmm. this and there's more out there, right? Yeah. That's already yeah. cut? Yeah. Cool. So that's one thing we can get some stuff cleaned up from out there in the yard. And I'll get this stuff behind us too, the close stuff. And then we can keep these guys going. Do you like warming up by the fire before you go lay down at night? Yeah. Yeah, does that help? Yeah. What about you, child? Just yes, You do? I had a dream. Whoa. She had a dream last night she went to bed. Oh, you had a dream? Was it in your head? No. In the house. Oh, okay. House. You had a dream you were in the house? Wow. Okay. Oh, well, I'm gonna go cut a little bit more, and then I got another project to work on. Um, you guys want to wind up roasting some hot dogs on this fire at some point, and some other stuff? Yes. That sounds good. All right, we'll make memories. Okay, so flip it on the ground upside down, put the screws on the thing, the legs, and go from there. In the uh, grand scheme of things, we live in the middle of nowhere, but somehow for at least the next half an hour, um, inch hail, 60 mile an hour winds. I am the only one in the tent right now. I'm just checking a couple things, and uh, we're gonna wait for about the next hour before we sleep in here tonight. It sounds like a lot of it's already north and east of us, which is good, because it started from the west, but there's some serious gusts. We heard trees cracking earlier. And we're just hoping that our vehicles don't get their windows destroyed, things like that. But uh, man, we'll see where this goes.
Well, some rain has arrived. So I came back to the house at the moment too. When we were camping up in Missouri, boy, our first night up there, there was about 60 mile an hour winds. Some of us were holding the tent up, some of us were holding the tent down, and we wound up with a moat inside of our tent. So that was a deal. It already sounds like it lightened up a bit, but we'll see how long this lasts. And then uh, hopefully we can go sleep in the tent here shortly. That's my plan anyway. Well, about the time we were almost done camping, that happened. Uh, you guys can get try to sneak that cot out of there if you can. And what happened was uh, I had some things stretched too tight. I did. Ouch! This is some bad stuff. Dad, it's full of water. We can't get it off. What's full of water? The middle. You'll have to bail it out. But things broke. Fiberglass shattered. Oh man. There's actually stuff down in there then, huh? That's ripped right here. Can you flip this over? Yeah, it's tore open. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, whoa. Lift up a little higher, son. This stuff. See if you can, uh, well, yeah, ouch. You think you can jump over or you need to be lifted? There we go. So that was a problem, guys. I had my tent stretch, my tarp stretched too tight. The water started collecting in the middle, and we already bailed more than that much out, like yesterday or the day before, right? Yeah. And now it happened again. How cold is it? Super cold, like last time. But soon my feet will get so cold that you can't feel it. They'll just be numb. Oh man, that's heavy. Are you involved? Oh, and dump it far enough away, it runs away. Your poor sister is freezing. Than last time, I think. Oh. No. And I just want to be spear fishing right now. <laughs> oh, daughter. <laughs> so they can't make it to where they need to in the tent because of that water there. Uh huh. We need to get over there and this whole. Make sure your there. tarps are at an angle so they can shed water. Ours <laughs> were not. We got some repairs to do, okay? I get that. Oh man, can you imagine if we would have been sleeping in there when that happened? That's about the only way it could have been worse. Now it happened twice. Or if we camped like some people with a whole bunch of electronics and electrical outlets and other things, that would be terrible. There's obviously repairs that need to be done. And I think they can be done. But ouch. So where is your bed? Um, in the tent? This is your bed though, right here. That's where I sleep? Here's your pillow. Ah! And then the baby sleeps right there and there's a big thing. Ouch. Cot right there. Ouch. He's like stepping out from the baby's bed. This is the cot and here's the baby's bed. Ouch, that's our target then, huh? Yeah, it's there. And we can't get across because it's all over there. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna help and start working on some of this. And let's just take everything out of this. Yeah, maybe. This time and just hang let's, it somewhere and then just take it. Sure, from that makes sense. I can stretch a couple cords across some trees if we need to for now. And we have the clothesline and fences. All right. <laughs> we uh, we got some cleaning up to do, so I'm gonna jump in the help. I know it's it's nice just to stand there and point a camera at all these kids doing so much effort, but I gotta help. So I will. Look at that. Oh, it's so sad. Huh, here's a look inside here. Pinky's on top of there. The kids slept in this area, but things are things are wet, so we gotta get all this stuff washed and dried. There's some standing water in the sides. And uh, that's right over like my bed and stuff like that. Woo-wee! 
Let's get it all clean and dry, guys. Sometimes this is where you make the real memories. Sometimes. Uh, here's a look at some of the mayhem so far. Tarps are off now. A couple chairs full of soak stuff. We're getting things hanging everywhere. Thankfully nothing was too important that got wet. It can mostly all be washed. A lot of it just dripping on these clotheslines right now. But we're gonna have to get her taken down, tore apart, dried out. What do you think? This. Are you glad we weren't sleeping in there at the moment all this happened? Yeah. That would have been bad. Best. All this can be taken care of. I hear the geese. The geese? Where are they coming from? Up north. Up north? Where are they going? Down south. What kind of geese are they? Canadian geese. Canadian geese. Nice. He's making his own. It's organic, free-range, and all-natural clotheslines. Well, the tent is down. Some things are in the washing machine and dryer. Monster truck's pulling up the stakes and all this. It's probably gonna have to wait like a week till it can dry out. There's a lot of rainy, cold weather coming, I think. But we'll see. Good work. Wow. Was it fun? Yeah. How about you? Or how about you? Yeah. Okay, I pointed at you, he answered. Look at that. What a crazy tree. Has a lot of fruit. <laughs> so, camping doesn't always go as planned. But this is when you make the memories, right? You gonna remember that one? Yes, yes. definitely. We might even have the destroyed tent to remember it by. We'll see you next time, Papa out. Thumbs up! Hooray!